Solving quadratic equations using completing the square. As a quick reminder, the square root of any positive number isn't just one value, it's two. So the square root of a positive number gives us two values. Solve x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0 using completing the square. Like in my previous video, we're going to put this into completing the square form. So that's going to be brackets x plus or minus something all squared. Or what's this value here? Well, it's going to be this number halved. So x plus 2 all squared is our starting point. What do we need to do now? Well, we need to square this value. So 2 squared equals 4. Then we need to say, well, how do we get from 4 back to 3? So I'm going to bring this 3 down. So 4 to 3, we take away 1. So we'll have x plus 2 all squared take away 1 equals 0. So we've got our original quadratic equation into completing the square form. Our next step then is to solve this quadratic equation. We want to get x on a side on its own. So our first step, we'll have to add 1 to both sides to eliminate this minus 1. That'll give us x plus 2 squared equals 1. We now need to inverse the square of this. So to do that, we do the square root. So square root of both sides will leave us x plus 2 equals the square root of 1. I'm going to write in the next line x plus 2 again. And the square root of 1, because there are two values for the square root of a positive number. So x plus 2 equals positive or negative 1. Continuing to solve this, we need to minus 2 from both sides to eliminate this positive 2 here. That will give us x equals minus 2 plus or minus 1. We have two answers here. We have x equals minus 2 plus 1 and x equals minus 2 minus 1. So our final answers will be x equals or minus 2 plus 1 equals minus 1 and minus 2 minus 1 equals minus 3. So x equals minus 1 and minus 3. If you want to check these are right, import x equals minus 1 into this equation here and then input x equals minus 3 into this equation here again. Solve x squared plus 8x plus 3 equals 0 using completing the square again. So we'll start off the same. We'll have x plus something all squared. Well, that something is half of this. So half it, which equals 4. Now we need to find this value here to make sure it's the same as the original equation. Equals 0. Firstly, we need to square the 4. So 4 squared equals 16. And we need to go from 16 to 3. So to get from 16 to 3, we take away 13. So this must be minus 13. I'll rewrite that. We can now solve this. So our first step, we want to add 13 to both sides to give us x plus 4 all squared equals 13. Square root both sides, which will give us x plus 4 equals the square root of 13. We're going to leave it in the accurate root 13 format. So on the next line, I'm actually going to write x plus 4 equals, we're going to have a positive and a negative value of root 13. Our next step then must be to take away 4 from both sides. That will give us x equals minus 4 plus or minus root 13. And that's actually our final answer. We've left this in third format as to keep it as accurate as possible. Breaking this down a bit, we can show that this is actually x equals minus 4 plus root 13 and minus 4 minus root 13. If we enter these into our calculator, we'll have x equals minus 0.394 and minus 7.606. Four questions for you to try now. Pause the video, resume when you're ready to see the answers and then move on to the next demonstration. Last demonstration question, it's a bit different compared to the others because we've got this coefficient of x squared. So how do we go about dealing with this? Well, our first step is to take out a factor from this equation. And the factor you want to take out is the coefficient of x squared. So taking out a factor of 5, we'll have 5 lots of x squared plus 10x divided by 5 is plus 2x. 
and minus 75 divided by 5 is minus 15 and that all equals 0. Now the nice aspect of what you can do here is if you divide both sides by 5 well the left hand side will just be left with this but the right hand side well 0 divided by 5 is 0 so we'll just be left with 0 on the right hand side. So divide both sides by 5 and that will give us x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. And we're left with this, which we can solve the same way as we've done with the previous questions. So for this we'll have x plus, we're going to half 2 to leave us with x plus 1 all squared and then plus or minus something equals 0. We need to square 1 and then we need to get to this value of minus 15. We're going to take away 16. We can solve it at this point, so let's add 16 to both sides, which will give us x plus 1 all squared equals positive 16. Square root both sides, which will then give us x plus 1 equals the square root of 16. So we'll have plus or minus 4. Take away 1 from both sides now, and that will give us x equals minus 1 plus or minus 4. It's in a really nice format so we can find the final numerical values. As a final check, substitute 3 back into the original equation and you should get 0 as your answer and then substitute minus 5 back into the original equation and it should also equal 0. Same process as the previous questions, the only difference is we've got an extra step at the very beginning in which we need to take out a factor from the equation and that factor is the coefficient of x squared. The last three questions of the video for you to try now, solve these by using completing the square Pause the video, resume when you're ready to see the answers. Thanks for watching this video, remember to like, subscribe and if you can support the channel, stay safe and healthy out there and I'll see you in the next video.